Let's move away now. A laboratory scientist investigating the mystery around the Takradi girls who were eventually found dead after Anisha reports that they had been kidnapped says uh, forensic results on the human bones that were retrieved during investigations compared uh, to relatives is 99.9% .9 superintendent D. Kofi Japon who was part of a team that conducted the DNA test on the skeletal remains that were retrieved from a septic tank at Kasarodo near Takradi was in court Thursday as the 17th prosecution witness in the case the deceased or the missing girls uh, Priscilla Blessing Bintum, Ruth Love Quaison, Priscilla Mantibia Crunchy, and Ruth Abaka, counsel for the first accused person, Sam Aludotek Wills, uh, that's uh, George Isifolansa, who started the grilling of the prosecution witness, spoke with Joe News. When it comes to patrol, I have one of the anthropologists, those who did it, and in finding remains of years and later, they look at certain things to determine whether the person or the item they are looking for is the exact thing. But I was also of the view that uh, the DNA, if you are an expert of DNA, you must be able also to be able to determine some of these things. Because if you are able to determine that this is the person, using the source of the of the skull to determine that this is the person you are looking for, then definitely it is also appropriate that you must be able to tell the ages. And don't forget, if you were in the, uh, you, you watch the proceedings, he made a, 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 a session that, um, looking at them, their age differences were not, that they, they seem to be of the same age group. Yes, so that you must be able to determine, if you are able to find that they are of the same age group, then definitely you must be able to determine that. These are the ages I'm talking about. If not specific, maybe they range from maybe 17 to 20 or 20 to 20. Something like that. So that was what I was going to say. Okay, one is dead. Yes. yes. Does it surprise you that they couldn't tell us how long maybe this lady had been killed, how long this body had been killed? In fact, I gave a bit a, 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 a clue that looking at the, the dates that they were supposed to have got missing. Yes, yeah, so that if you take the first one, the 29th of July that the first lady was supposed to have got missing, if you take that date, assuming that was the date that the person died, and then from the time you took delivery of the, the exhibits, you must be able to tell that these bones, how old are they? Yes. So that we can, we must be able to know whether if you say, they are, let's say, um, this person has died for three years, the three years, does it fall within the time that the person is supposed to have got missing and the time that you are conducting the DNA? So then I think uh, that time was very material, but uh, maybe the court had a different view. Yes. Joining us on phone now is Nanadra Kwesin, a sister of one of the Takrade girls. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Must be a really difficult moment for you and your family. Uh, but what's your reaction to this latest development? Oh, I would say that we are not surprised because uh, even last year when we went to the police headquarters in Accra, we asked the forensic test, the doctors some questions, but they couldn't answer any of the questions. And also we requested for our own private DNA, we were not given that opportunity. So, me, I'm not surprised at what they are saying. They've already determined and made their mind to close the case or end this issue. So, they are doing what possible best to end this issue. But we are still praying to God. We know that our guests are alive and one day they will surely come home. So, has the family given up on your independent DNA tests? Of course. When we asked the initial stage, we were not given the opportunity. So, uh, it's like, me to see you when you are uh, preparing some food, and I, I asked you to give me the food. Some you never gave me, but when I went back home, you are now bringing the food to me for me to take it. Do I know what you're putting it in the food? So for now, if they give us the samples, we will not conduct any DNA test. Mm, interesting. Uh, but but tell us how how you've been coping. Um, do you still hold on to that view that your your sister is still alive? Of course, of course, we know that they are still alive because we have a strong feeling and we'll be having a dream about them. So we know that they are still alive. It's unfortunate that uh, she found herself in this situation, but we know that uh, with God, all things are possible and we are still looking up to him that he will show us his self-glory. So we believe that he's still alive. 
Ananato, you said you've been dreaming about your sister. Do you mind sharing details of the dream, if you don't mind? Yeah, I think uh, two months, it's not even up to two months, my mom had a dream that a certain young guy came with him and said he saw him around uh, Kumasi, but he was not, he didn't know where he was from at that moment. So she asked him where she was from and she told him that she's from Tapari, blah, blah, blah. So uh, the guy brought him back. When she came, nothing shows that, like, she was okay, just that she has moved a little bit, with, but she was okay. So we have a strong belief that the girls are alive. They will come. Mm. Um, earlier, uh, when we spoke to you, when this case started in court, your family was concerned about uh, the rate at which it was progressing. Are you comfortable now? Oh, that's for the comfortability. <laughs> We are, we are in some way, but in another way, we are not. Even I, we, the family, we were not even aware that yesterday there was a court sitting. I knew it was on Monday and Tuesday, but I never knew that even yesterday we went to court. So we are still looking up to God. We are still looking up to God. We cannot uh, put our trust in them again because they disappointed us once because of the certain information that even we we got around, we gathered around, we gave this information to the security agency, expecting them to work on it, but it couldn't be so. As I'm speaking to you there now, the CID and those uh, some of the policemen who were involved in this issue have been transferred. So now we don't know where they are. They've not brought to, to, to book for some questions. So we are we are looking up to God. I appreciate your time here this morning. Anaja Kwesi, the sister of Ruth Love Kwesi, one of the Takradi girls who was reported missing earlier, later confirmed dead by the police. But you just heard her. Uh, her family believes she is still alive. We'll be keeping our eyes on this case and bring you updates from the court as and when uh, the case is heard.